You know, it's ironic. All American energy sources have been heavily subsidized at one point or another throughout their development. Uh, we have a long history of the federal government subsidizing everything from jet aviation, semiconductors, computers, the internet, uh, global positioning systems, laser technology, MRI. The list is extensive that has developed into major job engines in the United States. I find it a little frustrating that our friends have chosen not really to engage the issue directly of the hearing, but they're and ignoring information provided by established, credible experts and pull out of right field a single report that uses unproven theories, unaccepted assumptions, lacks basic statistical analysis to show that a program that only does not exist in the United States and is not being proposed by anyone did not work. In my home state of Oregon, uh, we're watching, even though it, it rains all the time, we're watching an emergence of a solar energy industry. We're watching in New Jersey, um, the garden state where they have some climate issues, uh, the second largest uh, state of installations. We're moving in an era where it's expected that the solar uh, photovoltaic will soon achieve grid parity. But in an era when the United States, unlike what happened in the uh, technology <coughs> explosion, Mr. Chairman, that you were involved with, and actually our ranking member has been deeply concerned with, where the United States was an innovator and a global leader in energy technology today, uh, the United States has only four of the top 30 countries. The rest of the world is moving on. I think our witnesses here today uh, can help give a picture of where the world is going. And I appreciate your having this hearing because I think it's an important part of the picture to, f to round out. <coughs>